Hey folks, this is Sandra again. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to be going over uh, different types of bikes um, that you have and your first assignment that's going up uh, this week. So if you have clicked on to uh, this um, page, um, I'll be going over kind of how we're going to be filling this out. And so I filled out one personally for uh, one of my two bikes that I'm going to be going over today. So this right here is a filled out form for the Black Mamba here, uh, which is this hardtail right here. And I kind of want to go over some of the specifics here and why this mountain bike is a little bit different than my other mountain bike. And it doesn't matter which one you have, it's just good to know what you do have. So this right here is a Salsa Timber Jack. Um, I have nicknamed it Black Mamba. Um, so Salsa is the brand name. Timberjack is the model, just like kind of like you might have like a Ford Ranger type of truck. Every bike is going to have a different model depending on the company that's there. Um, and so that's the frame. And then I bought the frame and then have specialized, uh, put all the pieces together here. And so I'll go over some of those. Um, so you'll notice it's a hard tail. That means that there's no suspension back here, but there is front suspension right here. Um, I do have a carbon handlebar, which is pretty awesome right here. Um, and then I've got my brakes right here and I've got my shifter right here. Um, and then these wheels, um, I've got 29 inch tubeless wheels. And then um, the axle is a through axle, which is gonna be different than this other bike. And then you'll notice that I have disc brakes right here and not brakes on the rims. Specifically with mountain bikes, we wanna make sure that we do have uh, I would be cautious with rim brakes. Um, you'll have to replace the pads more often um, and they just heat up a little bit more. Um, disc brakes are definitely where most mountain bikes are. If you do have rim brakes, um, please talk with me and I'll just make sure that they're safe for what we're doing. Uh, so going to the back here, I've uh, got my uh, seat post right here um, with my awesome saddle. Um, and then when it comes to the gears, um, gears uh, kind of depends on how many cogs you have here. So this is called a 12 speed. Um, it's really easy to find out because you just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I got 12 of them. And then in the front here, I just have this one by right here. You might have two and that'd be called a two by. Um, and then I've got these pe pedals right here. I ride flats personally. Um, you can get pedals where you clip into them. Um, so your shoe and your pedal are as one. Um, I don't have that personally because I just personally fall too much. Um, but if you do, that's totally fine. Um, and then with this hardtail, this right here, this bike specifically, is a what I like to call a cross-country bike and it's specifically meant for bike packing. It's meant to go fast. It's not necessarily supposed to give you as much bouncy action as you want in the whole wide world. So that's Black Mamba right here. My other bike that I have, this would be called an all-mountain bike. Uh, this is the Adventure Barbie bike, also known as ABB, mainly because I thought it was a bike that uh, Barbie would have back in 1987 called the Wild Colors. So there are definitely some differences between this and Black Mamba. Uh, this is a Liv in Bolden. Liv is kind of Giant's uh, female brand that they have. Um, and with this, I have an aluminum handlebar right here. The frame is aluminum. The wheels are 27.5, so they're a little smaller, and they have tubes in them. Um, Black Mamba is tubeless, so with this one, I have to make sure that I have a spare tube with me in case I get a flat, or definitely a patch at least. Um, when it comes to the brakes, they're definitely disc brakes, but they're not hydraulic, so they're kind of like a manual disc brake. Um, and then I have the quick release, so the axle doesn't actually go all, it does go all the way through, um, but it's not quite as stable. Um, big thing with this is you want to make sure that these are tight. Um, they do wiggle loose, and then you can have that really scary situation where your bike keeps going forward, but your wheel falls out which is bad and that's happened to me once so just make sure that they're nice and tight for you uh, going here this is a full suspension bike so i have suspension both in the front and in the back this is also known as full squish mode and this is pretty fun to be on personally so this one is the one that i like to do lots of jumps with and such this is also a 12 speed in the back here this one actually originally came um, with a two by 
um, but I adjusted it and had the whole drivetrain, which is this whole setup right here all together that makes your bike go forward. I replaced that and upgraded it a little while ago. Uh, and with this, I have a dropper post right here. So this is kind of cool where I can press this button right here, push it down, I can let go and it stays and then I push this button and it goes back up, which is really nice if I'm going up and down a lot that I can adjust the seat, which I don't have to do with Black Mamba because usually I'm going forward a lot and not necessarily going up and down as much. So that was a really brief and probably very quick introduction. What I want from you is to fill out this form here. So take a picture of your bike and your helmet, put it here, and then just fill out your name, what your make and model, model is, your nickname for your bike if you have one. You don't have to have one, but I think it's cute. And then just kind of knowing your parts of your bike. So type of bike, cross country, I have a small frame, aluminum, hardtail. It's a 29 inch wheels with tubeless and has a through axle. Uh, it's got hydraulic disc brakes, 12 speed and pedals are flat. Um, so that's what we got going right here. So that was an introduction to bikes. And then really quickly, I just wanna go over what you actually wanna bring with you while you're actually biking. So over here, just quickly go over. I've got my helmet here. It's really important that you take a picture with your helmet for this assignment because I need to make sure that you have a helmet. You wanna make sure that's properly fitting. So putting it on, this one right here adjusts in the back. Put it on right underneath your chin right here, making sure that it's kind of under your ears. In the back here, I adjust. And big thing here is you don't want to have the big gap right here all the way back. Make sure that's nice and flush just right over your eyebrows right there. What I wear when I'm mountain biking really depends on the weather. Big thing here is I got these shorts. I might wear thermals. You really want to consider investing in some bike shorts here with the chamois. It's got this nice pad right here. After a couple of weeks riding your bike, if you don't have this, you're going to really want them. If you're not sure where to buy these, let me know in the email. I've got my awesome uh, wicking um, shirt here um, that I wear. I usually wear this road biking, but I've noticed that I like wearing it in mountain biking a lot too, because it's just biking wear. And then I've got a lightweight shell here that I usually don't wear going up hill because I'm sweating a lot, but I'll put this on when I'm going back down. And then I've got my backpack too, so I'm self-sufficient. In this backpack, I've got some snacks right here. I've got some water. Um, I do have a water bottle cage for my Adventure Barbie bike. You'll notice I didn't have one for the Black Mamba. Um, it's got a different bag in there, so I want to make sure that I have this with me. And then my emergency gear that I've got. I've got a saw with me, so if I do come by any obstructions, I can saw them out. This isn't critical, but it's nice to have, especially in the Moscow Mountain area. Um, and then I've got a spare tube. Um, this is specifically for my um, 27 and a half. This is a 2.25 inch. So just making sure that you know what wheels you have to make sure you know you have the right tube. I've got a couple patch kits just in case. Then I got these tire levers so I can take the tire off when I'm replacing. And then I've got my um, pump here so I can actually blow the tube back up. I've got this um, kind of uh, tool chain breaker. Um, we'll go over this in a future episode um, of how to um, take apart your chain if you need to replace a chain. This one's kind of cool because I get to keep the spare um, links right inside of it. Um, not necessary, but kind of a cool feature. And then I've got this multi-tool right here that I've got, and it's got all these different uh, metric size components so I can tighten up anything on the fly. Um, and then I do have a chain breaker right here. And then finally, I've got some lube right here for my chain. Uh, we'll go over that again in another future module. So these are the things that I bring. Um, they're all in my back.